President Obama will be holding a news conference. It will focus on the debate about raising the debt ceiling. A hot topic, of course. Chief Washington correspondent Peter Cook is standing by on Capitol Hill with a key Republican who's part of that debate. Peter? I'm joined now by Jeff Sessions. He's the ranking Republican on the Senate Budget Committee, the Republican from Alabama. Thank you for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Peter. The president's going to uh, speak to the media shortly. What do you want to hear from him in this budget debate at this particular moment in time? First of all, he has not yet told the American people how severe our crisis is, that we are reaching 100 percent of gross debt compared to our GDP. This is already bringing down economic growth at least 1 percent, according to economists. 1 percent growth loss is a million jobs lost. So this is really important for him to lead instead of attacking people who are actually out front proposing solutions. So we need that from him. And also, I think he owes it to the American people to tell what it is he's been saying in these secret meetings and private meetings. Tell what he thinks we ought to do to get the economy and the debt on the right course. One thing he has been saying and other Democrats have been saying, listen, we've got ideas on the table for spending cuts, for perhaps some entitlement program changes, and yes, some tax revenue, some revenue increases. The message there saying is, listen, Republicans haven't offered anything to meet us halfway. How do you respond to that? The, the House has pr proposed a really solid 10-year budget that changes the debt trajectory of America. They've defended that all over the country. And They've it's already been rejected it. in the Senate. No, well, it has been uh, by a party line vote, but it got the president's budget got zero votes. Uh, uh, the House budget got over 40, I think. But regardless, this is a challenge that he has to lead on, and I think that he's not done so. If he wants to raise taxes, tell us how much and what taxes. Don't you think that reasonable? If he are you prepared to, consider, to accept cuts, are you willing to consider some revenue increases as long as you look at them on a case-by-case -case basis? We had the vote on ethanol subsidies just a short time ago. We have other people talking about oil and gas uh, industry subsidies. Would you, Jeff Look, Sessions, American, be willing to consider some of this? American people are not into uh, solving the spending problem by bailing Washington out by raising taxes. Uh, the last uh, two years, this administration, amazingly, has increased non-defense discretionary spending 24 percent. To say we can't have significant cuts in spending is totally uh, unjustifiable. We've got to reduce spending, and the White House has proposed a budget that has 10 percent increases for education, energy, uh, State Department uh, next year. I mean, this is out of touch with reality, and we've got to have the president explain to the American people why we can't have a 10 percent increase in the Energy Department next year. Let me ask you, we've had our audience today has been watching what's playing out in Greece, and yeah. uh, nobody wants to see, obviously, something yeah. similar here. But there are worries expressed in the markets right now about what happens August 2nd. If there is no political deal between Democrats and Republicans, that we're going to see a market impact. How worried are you about that, and, and what are the realistic chances? I think it's um, something we should not take lightly. I do believe that uh, we need to have an agreement, something that will pass. My concern that I've made repeatedly is we'd be so much better off if the president would show some leadership, show where he is and what proposals he has, and let's discuss them. If we end up uh, at the last minute, August 2nd, August 1st, August uh, you know, the last of July with a major monumental proposal that Congress has no time to digest. The American people have never seen before, and we're de it's being demanded that it pass. The president needs to understand it might not. And the sooner he stands up and tells us where they are, and so we can uh, see it, the better off we'll be. So a short-term extension be better than, than that scenario? Well, I'm not uh, opposed to a short-term extension if that's what it takes, um, because I'd prefer that to some short-term shutdown. But certainly the uh, president uh, does need to do his bit. And Congress is going to have to be honest with the American people. I think they've been somewhat honest that business has to change. We don't have the money, and Greece is not too far off our radar. It could happen to us in a few years. Uh, the experts have told us that. You know, Erskine Bowles said this is the most predictable economic crisis the nation has ever faced. And what he was saying was, we can see it coming, 
we've got to change course. It's our responsibility, if we love this country, to make some painful decisions. All right, Senator Jeff Sessions, thank you for the time. Appreciate it. A pre if you will, to the president's press conference coming shortly. Adam, we'll send it back to you in New York.